Alright, so today we are going to look at AI2 Alien Institute's new model, QA focus model. They outperform GPT-3 in terms of a question answer win. It's very interesting. It's a much smaller model. It's like 20x smaller than GPT-3, but can outperform GPT-3. Okay, so let's just uh, see what's about Macau. Macau, it's a generative question answering model built by extensive training and tuning the T5 pre-trained model. So it's basically a fine-tuned T5. T5 uh, is uh, Google's uh, large language models around 11 billion. And Macau is kind of the way they fine-tune that is different. They fine-tune on certain sets of data. And uh, it kind of shows a very strong zero sharp performance in wide range of question type, which means it does not need any training data to learn those question answering, regardless, regardless of the types of questions you give it. So it's a zero sharp model is very strong. And uh, on the suite of 300 challenge questions, Macau performed GPT-3 by over 10%. I don't know what the 10% means here, but it sounds a lot. It could be 10% more accuracies, 10% more F1 score. No matter what, 10% is huge in NLP. So even though Macau is an order of magnitude smaller than GPT-3, it's like 15x smaller. Okay, and it's more importantly, it's probably available for free. So you can probably just download this and run this. Yes, it's open source. I believe they released the model, so it's very good. The training data they use also release a model also available. So it, it doesn't like a GPT-3. Now you can only access GPT-3 via, via GPT-3 API, and uh, it's not free. This one, it's totally free. So if you want to do something like question answering related things, 100% you should look at this the, Look at this one, it certainly great stuff. It may be quite revolutionary. I'm guessing there will be a lot of uh, business opportunities around around it. So if you're really interested, 100% to check it out. The model, 11 billion, which is quite small uh, compared to GPT-3. 11 billion is the model that I can run my MacBook Pro. Okay. Um, GPT-3 is strongest model, the Vinci is also its most expensive one. And they compare that and how does that compare? We can just see here is uh, the size. You can see the size is very different, right? And the performance, Macau is like 10% better than GPT-3 in general. So we can just see uh, that you can filter the question here by kind of uh, uh, categories. And let's just see the entity substitution category. And we can just see just randomly some random questions, right? And James went f cam camping in the woods, but forgot to bring hammer to bang the 10 packs in. What else may he, may he use? So Macau said rocks. And GPT-3 <laughs> said his hat. <laughs> it's crazy. Who will use uh, he or hers hat to really hammer a pack? It's crazy, right? So you, you most likely you use rocks. The, in this point, like Mark House apparently has more common sense in these questions. Okay, so how would you remove ice from the car window without ice scraper? So Mark House says, scrape it with a knife. Makes sense. I would do that if I have a knife. And the GPT-3 just said use a piece of, piece of ice, which doesn't really, it's not really good answer. But I won't say it's wrong. Maybe somebody does that. How would you ban in the in a ten in a ten packs without hammer? So it's based similar questions. GPT three says uh, use a rock. Macau you say use a rock. Okay. Mary wants to heat up uh, some water, but uh, her stove was broken. What else may she use instead to heat the water? Macau says campfire, and GPT-3 says uh, Mary could use a uh, microwave to heat the water. Yeah, makes sense, but 
who will actually bring the microwave in the to camping, right? But it's not saying they are in the camping situation. So I would say both of them are correct. And the microwave is actually better if you are at home. Microwave is better. It's a more sensible answer. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, let's just see some other category. Uh, about let's say comparison. What is the difference between a noun and a verb? So, Macau says a verb describes an action, an action, while a noun is describing is used to describing something, which is true. And Jupiter three three say a noun is a person, place, or thing, which is not wrong. It's not like complete description of that. It's too narrow. A verb is a person, places, or things. It's definitely wrong. So Jupiter three is apparently loose in this case. Okay. Let's just see some cases. They some of them are wrong. One of them are wrong. One of them is correct. That's the thing that we should focus. If the both of them are correct, it's not so interesting. Okay, so hypothet hypothetical, hypothet hypothetical. Okay, if a plastic was an insulator, then would a plastic spoon conduct electricity? Of course. What? 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 Yeah, well, of course not. If an insulator means by definition it couldn't conduct electricity, right? So Macau say no, and Jupiter three say yes. It probably overfit into the plastic yeah, because plastic, uh, in the real world, it's a uh, insulate. It's a. Uh, it's it's yeah, it's an insulator. So why Jupiter three will be wrong? Okay, interesting. Yeah, plastic is already the insul insulator. So even. We don't need this assumption. We just ask ask uh, the the model: Would a plastic spoon conduct electricity? You should know it wouldn't. It wouldn't. But maybe overfit the spoon because most of the material of spoon is made of metal. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. The GPT three got wrong in this all of the questions in this category. Uh. While Macau got all of them right, if you put a plan in a dark room, how will it photos photosynthesis photosynthesis be affected? You will slow down, and Jupiter you says that you will not be affected. You will not be affected. How could it be? Okay, last one. If a car did not have any gas in it, how will it be affected? It would not move. Macau says, "Of course, it would not be affected at all." How does that make sense? So, in general, I think Macau is a much better model because it has ten percent like performance. Increase compared to GPT three, while it's like a fifteen x smaller. So I would for sure think Macau is better in question answering. I'm curious how AI two does this. I will check out their paper. Maybe I will make another video on this. Super cool. So uh, that's for today's video. If you would like to receive more AI related videos, um, you don't want to miss any any of them. Be sure you are subscribed. You subscribe to my channel, and uh, that's also very encouraging for me to make more videos like these. Other than that, stay tuned, stay safe, and I will see you next time.